Hey everybody, it's Zach Bacon with Quantum Real Estate. Wanted to give you some information today about short sales. That's been coming up more recently. I've had a lot of questions about those. So we'll dive into a summary and then I'll give you some more information in more detail down the road. So the first question, what is a short sale? Uh, a short sale is a situation where a homeowner has a financial hardship. They need to liquidate the property or sell the property. They can't afford it and they owe more than the property will sell for on the open market. So maybe they owe 700,000, the property is only worth 600,000, uh, that means they're 100,000 short, and then when you add in any selling cost commissions, everything else, they're even more. So uh, what they have to do is present a financial package to that bank saying, here's our hardship, here's the proof of our hardship, here's what's happened, and we're asking you, our bank, to be shorted at closing, hence the name short sale. And basically the bank looks at the financial hardship and says, this is legitimate, it's valid, it makes sense to us, and yes, we're willing to accept, you know, whatever it ends up being, $565,000 payoff instead of the $700,000 that we're owed because this property will only sell for 600,000 in today's market. Now in the past, uh, those were a big deal in the market downturn. However, for the last eight years, uh, there have been very, very few. Uh, I'm not sure how many of them we're going to see come up because so many owners do have some amount of equity, right? Either they bought at the bottom of the market and they built equity over years or because of new lending practices, they've had to put something down on the property. So I'm not sure that we're really gonna see a lot of those. Uh, the next question is, can we get a great deal on it? Are they a deal? Uh, not necessarily. Uh, what I expect is that most of those short sale properties are going to make it onto our local multiple listing service. They're gonna make it to the open market and right now, buyers are very informed and they're very motivated. There's not a lot of property available. So if a short sale comes up and its fair market value should be 500,000, and maybe they list it at 450, well, it's gonna end up in a bidding war and they're gonna bid it up to 500,000 because that is the fair market value of property right now. And um, those buyers just need to get into a house. So to answer those questions, I'm not sure that we're gonna see a lot of them coming up. We'll probably see a few more. Uh, and I'm also not sure that they're going to be this amazing deal in comparison to the rest of the market. So that's short sales in a nutshell for right now. Uh, we'll get into more of that. If you are a seller that's in a situation where you need some financial advice or you need to figure out if that if a short sale is an option, feel free to reach out. We did a lot of these back in the downturn, very familiar with the process. Uh, we can speak confidentially about it and, and even just tell you if it's right or not. Um, and the other question that I get is, is a short sale better for your credit than a foreclosure? And that answer totally depends. Um, I am not a, a credit repair specialist. I'm not a credit score specialist. Uh, the couple points that I've been made aware of in the past are how long are you going to be behind on payments? If you do a quick foreclosure, and uh, you know you get that property off of your books within six to nine months, is that better to only have six to nine months of missed payments or late payments versus sometimes a short sale can take 18 months. So is 18 months worth of late payments on your credit going to hurt more? Uh, the second point is the actual event, the short sale event versus the foreclosure event. Uh, I've been told in the past that the foreclosure does hit your credit for a larger, um, a larger amount of points versus a short sale. So maybe there is a benefit there to do a short sale. Uh, the other thing, and probably the main point, is that a lot of lenders are more open to uh, lending or letting a buyer apply for a new loan sooner with a short sale than with a foreclosure. So that could be an option as well. If you plan on you know, getting your financial house in order and maybe buying again in two years, then a short sale may be the better route, even though it does take more effort. You have to put the package together, you have to be involved, all of that. So as I said, feel free, reach out. I'd be glad to answer any questions. We can speak confidentially and 
Uh, and it doesn't mean you have to do anything at all, um, but at least you can be more informed and be able to make the right decision. So thanks again. Look forward to talking to you next time. Bye.